Okay guys, this is the professor. I'm going to start up our flint and steel fire and make some char cloth for you today. First thing we got to do is get a spark onto the char cloth. Okay, you can see we got spark going there. All right, now we're ready to make it into a fire. Okay, in our can here, which is an old can from shoe polish, which I've made char cloth in for quite a while. Got some pieces of uh, cotton duck cut up into good sized postage stamp pieces. And so I'm going to put the lid on there and cook that a little bit. Got a couple of holes here, one on either side. These kind of clog up with soot after a while, so make sure that they're open. And what we'll do then is we'll just lay that can in the fire and start cooking it. Okay, now you notice there's some smoke coming out of the hole. I got a hole on both sides so I can turn it over. Start with, it's mostly steam. After a while, it kind of drives the gases out of the cloth and kind of chars it into carbon. Get her go now. Okay, looks like about stopped smoking here, so let's take the char cloth out, let the can cool off a little bit, and we'll test a little bit of it here in a second. Okay, char cloth can's cooled off enough to touch now, so 
Let's open it up and see what we got. Shark cloth is black, which is really what we had in mind. So I'll let you come in real close and take a look at that. But that is black. It's real fragile. And it's good to go. So let's try a piece of that now with uh, what we just made and see how it's going to work here for catching a spark here. Once again, I've got my striker and my rock. The idea is to get a spark on there. Okay. There we have one. Okay, so let's see if it works to make a fire. And there we go. This is the professor with the flint and steel fire and charcoal.